Welcome to The Shooting Show. This week we follow Chris Dalton on an early season stag stalking foray on the Canard Estate in Scotland. Yeah, we're uh, just coming light. We've driven up again early, up to Kinhead. Um, I want to go and look up the, the back of the hardwoods. There's a reforestation scheme uh, about to be planted um, along the back edge of the hill here. Quite a big scheme, actually. I think it's about 300 hectares. So I want to just go and see what the red situation is up on the top of the hill. Um, mostly should be hinds up there, but we'll go and have a look. Just see what it's a lovely morning. Um, basically August we're looking around the estate one of the things I like to do before we get into the sort of late September October period in the rut is have a real good look how the deer have sort of fared over the winter and the spring months through the summer gives us a good idea of what's about you know what animals we need to take you can really refine the, the cold plan I've got a good idea where I want to be in terms of numbers it gives us a chance just to have a really good look around and, and make a decision on I say what we're going to do what we're going to do later in the season This morning the kind of wind was blowing across us so we worked along the field, the pasture fields behind us and then up a, a gully which takes us out onto the edge of the hill. Often a place to catch uh, maybe a row or, or certainly reds early on and that worked quite nicely. Uh, we got into a, a, a little group of stags and managed to select a, a knobber out of the group. Leave it, go kill. Young knobber here. Quite a few stags in that group actually, some bigger ones, put the spikers. But um, I'd rather select the younger ones out of the group at this stage in the season. Clearly a healthy deer. Um, this time of year, often in this sort of brackeny woodland, sort of broadleaf environment. 
it's a, a neck shot because you've got no um, clear shot of the, of the body. So as long as you've got a stable platform and you know you're comfortable with your rifle zero and that sort of range, you know, 70, 75, um, not exactly what the rifle's going to do. So I mean, a neck shot is a is a, is an option. I always take the heart lung if you can. I just margin of error. Let's have a look. I mean, clearly a lovely, healthy young red, straight through the spine, so he didn't feel anything. Let's check on, see what the sort of tick situation is like. Yeah, ticks on him. Not quite a few. Not excessive for this time of year. Clearly a healthy deer. So what we can do now is take a blood sample for the. Uh, the tick survey, we'll get that sent off down to Port and Down, so we'll take a sample of a tick and we'll take a blood sample, put the two together. Bit of information about where the deer was shot, condition, etc. And then that'll go off down to May Holding in the team for uh, for some more research. But a good deer to take. Quite a few there, quite a few in that group this morning. Because I've got Graham with me on the camera. I'm actually going to... Gonna hang it up and do a suspended growl. I mean, I wouldn't lift, try and lift this up on my own. I might have done one day, but I'm getting a bit old in the tooth, long in the tooth for that now. So we'll hock it. I'll get Graham to give me a lift. We'll hang it up, and then when I bleed it, it's going to be easy to catch the blood anyway. That one's fine. Take this one away. Perfect. My lovely assistant. See quite a lot of ticks there now, I've got it spread up. So we take one of the in fact one scurrying about in there. So we'll uh, we take one of those ticks off, put it in a, a file exactly like that, and then that goes along with the sample. Yeah, we've uh, got an hour or two yet, so we're going to, it's cold enough, we'll let the stag hang in the tree. Um, we're just going to continue up onto the edge of the hill. Go and have a look and see what's what up here. Then we can work around and we bring the bike into that and then we can get the bike right in. Pick it up. If I hadn't been able to get the bike in, I would have only done a partial growlick on it. But because we to get the bike right underneath it, we can literally lift it straight onto the tray, straight back down into the larder. The midges are actually getting quite bad now. You can see my dog's not for letting go of this leg. Come on, leave that leg. Kind of progressed further up around the around the back edge, kind of up a, a, above us, uh, really nicely working into the wind. So a couple of groups of hinds, um, some stags out in the distance. Most of the big stags are up on the top, uh, and then we kind of work back in to drop back down through the banking behind us. And um, I got into again there was a there was a little triage. There was a, a, a hind, a yearling hind, and a calf that moved across, but 
just coming along behind them, about 200 yards behind, was a young stag, which very nicely worked across the same route that the hinds had taken, so we were able to get set up, uh, probably about 150, 160 yards away, and fortunately the stag came through the bracken and actually, uh, actually stood clear, so gave us the opportunity for a second shot. Well, both Graham and I thought that I'd actually missed that. I couldn't quite believe how. I was debating with myself whether I'd pulled the shot. We saw no reaction. We didn't hear a sound. I just thought, shooting downhill, I've, I've pulled it over the top and that shot is absolutely perfectly, you couldn't have placed it any better. A massive blood trail coming down through the, the bracken. Really difficult to find deer in bracken, as you'll appreciate. Fortunately, it, it had fallen in an open area, so I probably would have found it without the dog, but she was straight on it. As soon as I got to the shot site, she's, she's indicating to me she's, she's, she's raring to go, and then she's, she's straight on the line, and, and she's on it. it. Just shows you, I honestly, I think both of us were convinced we were coming down to search for a deer that I'd missed, and I was beginning to kind of work out why, how, did I rush it, whatever, but... We'll have a look now at the deer, but the, the, shot's, the shot's perfect. There's a real blood trail through here, through this bracken, and it's probably run 40, 45 yards. Incredibly powerful, these things. Right, get some gloves on and uh, grab up number two for the morning. Nice young stag, perfect, perfect animal to take again. Well that's it for this week, thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.